Hey everybody, Nick McClure here, Century 21 Farm and Forest. I am here at 69 Danforth Road in Glover, Vermont on beautiful Shadow Lake. Excited to show you this cabin and cottage. We do have a back lot here on the other side of the road, uh, which is, gives good expansion potential. So it goes back into the trees there. Power coming in overhead back towards the property. This is a dead end road. Hard to tell today, but we've got some nice raised beds here. Where my sign is. Take a peek around the front side. Got a great little shed. storage underneath the bonus building here, which is an old cabin. See this building is up on post and piers. It's got a great enclosed porch and beautiful view looking out towards the water. Can't tell right now, but there is a fire pit in this corner. Some nice stonework there. There's a little stone patio as you come off the steps and then a stone walkway. All of these aluminum structures here is all the dock. So that goes out onto the water. Basically at this point I am on the lake. Beautiful body of water. We are facing pretty much due south. Looking across the lake, do a quick spin here, looking back towards the cottage. Got a nice little cedar hedge for privacy, concrete retaining wall here. Great balcony from the primary suite. We can see some of the stone patio here, so really pretty underneath the boat. Metal roof, got wood siding. Let's check out the inside. All right, so we've got a nice covered entry porch here off the backside. Great place to barbecue. It's welcome inside. Right as you walk in, we have a stunning kitchen, all custom made. Cherry counters, some nice open shelving here. A little Vermont Castings gas fireplace there. These drawers are all soft clothes. Tongue and groove ceiling up top. Nice wide softwood floors. Beautiful sink here. Nice craftsmanship with that cutout. Gas range, quite a bit of cabinet space. The refrigerator is tucked over here. Hot water heater is actually behind it. That would be electric. Give you a quick peek at the bathroom. Vanity, a full tub shower. A little linen cabinet here. And then the electrical panel is actually behind this rack. And I believe the laundry hookups used to be here, uh, but they moved them out to the little white cabin. We'll come back through the kitchen into the dining room. Nice size dining space, great natural light, wonderful views. This is an aerial of Shadow Lake. Sorry about the glare. Nice big nine foot slider looking out towards the water. Great living space. Recycled barn beam there in the middle. And a wonderful enclosed porch, or excuse me, screened porch.
nice amount of space, stunning views. I'll take you upstairs. Welcome to the upstairs. You've got a great little multi-purpose room, could be the second bedroom or craft space, office space, storage in the knee walls there. Come back down the stairway. And then the primary bedroom, little closet space. Got a king bed in here, so quite a bit of space. Combination of some beadboard, some tongue and groove, and some sheetrock. Really awesome view on this private balcony. Very private. Got a metal, or excuse me, a rubber membrane roof system here with a drain. There is a half bath here. That wraps up the inside. We'll head outside and show you the old cottage here, which has been restored. So let's check out the back cottage. This also has a nice covered porch with a good little view of the water. It is set upon a new foundation of pressure treated posts. It's got a lovely wood floor. Uh, my understanding is this has been gutted, spray foamed, uh, new windows, and then this tongue and groove cedar, which smells awesome. It's kind of just a storage area for the current owners, but you do have the laundry out here. Has lots of potential. Whether you want to use it for an office space, uh, hobby space. Apparently there was a kitchen in here at one time. So great potential, good bonus space.